What's up, beautiful people? This is your girl, Nikki. If this is your first time here, welcome. Go ahead, click the red button, join the family. Um, so I'm not even going to hold you guys. <laughs> um, I have to do a voiceover for this video because um, I'm actually still currently trying to get over my cold and I've lost my voice for like three days. So my voice sounds a little different. And while I was recording this video, I honestly was like, yeah, I'm just going to have to do a voiceover. So I am actually positioning all of this stuff out of the way so we can go ahead and jump into this um, Agenda 52 planner. Um, I'm actually going to do my budget in my um, A5 planner for this month. Just trying something different. I typically use my um, classic happy planner, but I do have my budget kit already sized for the A5. And what you're looking at is the cover, the dashboard, I would say, for my budget kits. And if you're new to my channel, I do have all printable budget kits, you guys. I am not down with the sticker gang. I love you guys. Y'all stickers look super, super cute. But your girl can't lay a sticker to save her life. <laughs> so that's kind of where my entire Etsy shop, uh, that's kind of why I started it. Um, because I wanted that cute effect and I wanted to be able to have all of those um, cute designs. But I couldn't find it. So I just decided to create my budget kits all to be printables. Um, so yeah, this is the cover for um, my marches. Um, planner and clearly I was thirsty so I had to grab a sip of juice <laughs> um, guys my voice still is uh, it's even bad right now but it's a little bit better than it was when I recorded this video so um, I guess we're gonna jump right into planning out for the for the month of March so let's go ahead and do that oh one more thing before we jump into the budget I wanted to let you guys know um, here on YouTube I already let everybody know on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram you're missing out um, be sure to uh, follow me on Instagram at poverty to wealth but what I'm showing you guys here is that I have decided to add cash envelopes to my Etsy shop and it will all be printable you guys can literally just print it right at home make literally three folds in a cut <laughs> and you'll have your cash envelopes the little white area that you see at the top that was blank um, you can put like the category and I'll also have a couple freebies in there so um, that will be dropping hopefully um, for April and you can also check online now at my on my Etsy shop to see if I've already dropped um, the principles for March's budget kit I want to say that by the time I'm uploading this that should be available to go um, so definitely check that out so let's go ahead and jump into this I've been rambling this whole time <laughs> let's go ahead and complete this budget okay so I just got done sitting here rambling about stickers but we're about to use some stickers <laughs> to mark down the dates for my pay dates so um, let me go ahead and grab my sticker book so that I can find some stickers to go ahead and lay down here um, this is the agenda 52 sticker book I've had these sticker books for so long um, and this one is the happy planner sticker book as you guys can see I very 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 seldom use stickers um, a lot of the pages are already um, are still full but what I typically reach for when I do use a sticker is just the paydays so I finally found it and I realized that these are a little bit too big for the a5 so I'm gonna jump back into um, the other agenda 52 sticker book and use like these really cute black um, dollar signs to uh, indicate that it's my payday so these are really simple for me to just pick up and use these little tweezers to lay them down but child when it comes down to laying those like cute um washi strips and all of that your girl cannot do it <laughs> the lines be all over the place and yeah it just never ever works out and it just takes takes up too much time that's the biggest thing is that it's just too time consuming so i'm putting down my stickers on the 12th and the 26th of march those are my pay dates for the month of march um, i am paid bi-weekly i was previously getting paid semi-monthly so i'm super happy to say that i get paid every two weeks and i don't have to wait around sometimes i used to have like a three week wait before i got paid and that used to suck so um, yeah, I'm definitely at a two week pay um, roll cycle. So my first bill that is going to be due for the month of March is, of course, rent. 
Um, this bill has already been paid. I typically make sure I'm not even gonna say typically. I always pay my um, rent on with the previous paychecks. So in the month of February, I took 615 out of each check and I made sure that the bill was paid before the first came along. Um, also, Netflix is also due on the first as well as my renter's insurance. And then on the 6th of, um, of October, child, I was going to say October, we moving ahead. <laughs> on the 6th of March, my T-Mobile bill is due. And then I also have my ComEd bill due on the 15th. And then whenever I write it down, I think this is my, um, what bill is this? Oh, <laughs> my Xfinity bill is due on the 20th. And those bills are um, consistent. My Xfinity bill is only internet. Um, I think I was explaining that. So I don't have any cable or anything like that because I do have the Netflix um, subscription. So on my pay dates, I always pay half of my car note. And that is the amount of $214 roughly. So my car note comes out every paycheck. I also have my loan that I'm paying back. I cannot wait to get that paid off. That comes out out of every paycheck as well as um, half of my rent. And then the final bill that comes out of every paycheck is child support. So if you're new to my channel, I pay child support and I also receive child support. So I have four children. Um, two of my children I'm paying child support for because they stay with their dad. Um, and then my oldest daughter lives with me and I receive child support for her. My son, I don't receive child support for. Um, and that's just kind of how things are. And I'm fine with that. Um, but I've had a couple of you guys question um, if you because you thought that you saw child support twice and you did. <laughs> All right. So I'm just double um, writing everything for paycheck number two. And I think that covers all of my bills and expenses. Oh, I'm going to go back and add my car insurance. Um, my car insurance is due on the 26th of every single month. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add that at some point, child. <laughs> I don't think I'm just rambling. But um, I actually just switched over my car insurance and I had elephant insurance paying almost one hundred and sixty dollars a month. You guys, I had that covered for a full year. And when I found out that I could have switched to progressive a long time ago, I should have because <laughs> um, I was actually monitoring my credit on with credit karma. And they kept telling me, like, you could be paying less money. You could be paying less money. And I was like, oh, whatever. But I actually came Oh, just this month was my final month um, for coverage. So I started shopping around and I shopped around. I, I think I looked into insurer one. I looked into um, another insurance company. They were just really high. And then I came across Progressive. I only had to pay forty dollars down. I was super excited about that because the other companies wanted me to pay one eighty. And my insurance is really, really cheap now. I'm saving a total of three hundred and sixty dollars for a six month um, cycle. So I'm super excited about that. You guys, my insurance, I will, you guys will find out how much I'm paying um, once I do my full month breakdown. And if you are on my Instagram, once again, you already know about that because I kind of share you guys a little bit of my little excited moment. <laughs> I share it on Instagram. OK, so let's keep going. Um, so for the week of the 22nd in March, my children's uh, spring break starts. So I wanted to kind of put a bit of money aside to kind of do something with them. They've been stuck in the house with e-learning. It's been tough on them a lot more so than it's been tough on me um, because they're having to just be in the house all the time because of the coronavirus. So I did put my refund check um, I'm anticipating to receive it um, back in the month of March. So if I do receive it, then it probably will come during that week. So um, I'll probably take some money out of that to kind of fund a little getaway for them just to do something nice. I don't know what we will be able to do. I'll start looking into that um, within the next few days or so. Um, but with everything going on, I'm not sure that, you know, that'd be possible. So we may have like a little staycation, just something to do with them just to, you know, get them out of the house. 
So um, let's jump over into the budget. Now I'm gonna take basically break down all of my anticipated income for the month, as well as listing out all of my budgeted amounts for the bills that I have to pay for this month. So let me go ahead and get all this stuff out the way and zero in on this budget. Okay, so I'm going to start by listing out my paycheck number one. So I do anticipate on receiving about $13.50 um, for paycheck number one. And I always try to budget at the lowest amount that I could possibly receive just to make sure that I'm under um, budgeting versus over budgeting. That way I'll make sure that I have enough. And then I will also put in the child support amount that I expect to receive for the month. Um, and that's typically $200. So I'm going to go ahead and add up all of the um, the totals. And so the total amount is $2,900 that I expect to bring in for the month of March. Now remember that is the lowest amount um, that I expect to receive. Hopefully my checks are higher. Um, rent is $1,000. $230 that I budget for. It is um, $1224. And I, like I said, I take that $615 out of each check to make sure that I'm having, um, I don't have to take out one huge amount of money out of my paycheck to cover rent. The next uh, bill on the list is my Netflix. The total amount for that is $14 a month. Um, I'm going to go back and change it because I realized that they recently changed the amount. It was $12.99 a month, so I will put $13, but now it's $13.99 a month. So that's that. The next bill is my uh, renter's insurance, and that is only $14 a month. Um, my Netflix and my renter's insurance, they both come out of my account automatically, and it's on auto pay. Um, my auto coverage is also on auto pay. So I have three bills that's automatically withdrawn from my account. Next on the list is my T-Mobile bill. Now I put $120 for that. I believe I overshot by like maybe um, $15, but um, that's fine. I'm just budgeting here. The next one on the list is my car payment. A total amount of $430 um, I have to pay towards my car note. Next is that loan. I pay about $240 a month for it. And then it's my child support. So I'm paying about $300 every single month towards child support. And then my ComEd bill. My ComEd is my electricity. And I live in the state of Illinois. So that's what ComEd is. It's my electricity. And you guys, my electricity bill has been absolutely crazy. Um, it's been super cold here. We've been below zero of a lot um, this past month. And my bill was like 200 some dollars last month. So thankfully, the weather is starting to change into a little bit warmer. So hopefully I'll be saving some money with that. But I'm going to budget out 175, which is definitely on the higher end, just to make sure that I have enough. And then I pay my Xfinity bill and that's only $35. It was $9.95 a month with the Essentials program. Um, but because my kids are doing e-learning, I've increased the data usage because I had accrued um, some charges because they went over the limit. So now for just an unlimited package, it was an extra $25 a month, which is amazing. So I pay that $35 with no problem. And then last on the list was my auto coverage. Now, as I said before, I was paying 157, 160 roughly for my auto coverage, and now I'm only paying $102. So you guys know I'm super excited about that, and I'm saving a lot of money. So <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go through this entire budget and get the total amount. Okay, so the total amount for the month of March is $2,663. So as you can see, we're kind of tight, but mo most likely I'll have um, a little bit more money coming in. 
than what I have budgeted out. So that will definitely take care of my gas, my groceries, my household supplies. Those are the top three um, things that I try to make sure that I am utilizing with the leftover money before I stuff my um, like spending envelope, eating out envelope. And to be quite frankly, you guys, I've been doing really, really poorly at this like eating out thing. I tried to do like um, a no spend month in January. I did pretty good when it came down to like not eating out and stuff like that. Um, but I really want to try to do much better with uh, making sure that I am planning my meals and stuff like that for the month of March. That way I can save money. And if I do plan to eat out, just simply budgeting for it. So um, I know for this final week of February, I was able to um, plan out my entire week's meal. And I really did really good by sticking to making those meals and not eating out as much. I scheduled one day out of the week last week to um, eat out and it worked really, really well. I typically eat out on Fridays because I'm either like picking up the kids, dropping off kids or something like that. So I need to make something really quick and easy. Um, so that worked out. But I just need to make sure that I am scheduling or I should say planning ahead for those days when I want to eat out. Now, as far as my uh, cash envelopes go, based on this budget, I have $237 to allocate. Now, remember, if I do get that refund check, I'm sure that I'll be beefing up my uh, cash envelopes. I do need to um, kind of go around my neighborhood or um, not. What am I talking about? Go around my neighborhood. Child, I don't know where I'm going. I need to find a bank. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. I need to find a bank so that I can start pulling out cash. Um, because my current bank is all the way in Indiana and I'm not commuting out there to pull money out. So once I get a bank, then I plan to um, start doing my cash envelopes with physical cash. And then I also want to start um, my sinking funds, my sinking funds again, if I receive that um, or whenever I receive my refund check. I want to um, start saving for my tires, my Christmas, fun, birthdays, and stuff like that. So I thank you guys so much for watching. This has been an amazing uh, start to the month of March. And I hope to catch you guys back in the next one. If you have not already subscribed to my channel and you are at the end of the video, girl, you need to go ahead and click that red subscribe button. And you need to follow us over on Instagram because it get litty over there. I'll catch you guys in the next one.